Vitamin B2 is also known as riboflavin. This vitamin is mostly mentioned in medical exams and journals and less commonly in the clinical practice. So it's not very common, but we do see it somewhere in the papers. The main two functions is energy production and body growth. It is especially important for red blood cells and the delivery of oxygen to the tissues. There are two conditions that are frequently associated with riboflavin deficiency, mainly thyroid problems like hypothyroidism or Hashimoto thyroiditis and malnourished patients. But malnourished patients have a lot of deficiencies everywhere, so riboflavin is just one of the deficiencies that they will have. So if you want to memorize something, just remember that thyroid problems can cause riboflavin deficiency. The deficiency symptoms are not very specific. We also see the same symptoms by other vitamin deficiencies, like sore throats, swelling of the mouth or throat, cracked lips, skin rashes, anemia, and some of the specific symptoms include hair loss, swollen tongues, or inflammation of the tongue lining, also known as the glossitis. And in very severe cases, it can also affect the eyes, causing cataracts or itchy eyes, which is another, another manifestation of having dry eyes. People who are especially at high risk of developing this deficiency include vegetarians or vegans, because the foods that contain most of riboflavin includes dairy products. And vegans don't eat dairy products, so they are at risk of developing this deficiency. Also, lactose intolerant patients, because these patients also don't eat a lot of dairy products. And pregnant women, especially if they were lactating after pregnancy as they will consume their stored vitamin B2 very quickly. The most important sources for vitamin B2 are, like we said, dairy products, including yogurt, cheese, and other dairy products, eggs, beef or pork, organic meat, chicken breasts, salmon and other fish, fortified cereal and bread, and this is true for other vitamins as well, almond and spinach. So as you see, most of these products are not consumed regularly by vegans or vegetarians, so which is why we see this vitamin deficiency more common in these patients. The recommended daily intake is 1.1 to 1.3 milligrams a day, and this increases to 1.4 to 1.6 milligrams a day if a patient was pregnant or lactating. If vitamin B2 increases quickly in the blood, it will be quickly excreted in the urine by the kidneys. So if you have too much vitamin B2, the body will take what it needs and the rest will be quickly filtered out. So there isn't really a true upper limit or true toxicity of vitamin B2. So just worry about having not enough and don't worry about having too much. Use the link below to get access to the full essential vitamins and minerals course. In this course, we will talk about all the vitamins, the minerals, their important functions and deficiency symptoms. At the end of the course, you will be an expert in vitamins and essential minerals, as the course covers everything that you need to know.